welcome one, welcome all. My name is Tickle My Beans, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a profile picture for YouTube. Honestly, you can use this method for any kind of platform, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, you name it. How much is this going to cost you? Absolutely nothing. This is free. What do I mean by free? I mean you're not going to spend a penny. Keep in mind though that if you do not have a working computer, laptop, or internet connection, you're screwed. But if you do have these things and want to make something super dope like my desktop background here, the first thing you want to do is open up your web browser of choice, mine happens to be Google Chrome, go to your address bar and type in www.inkscape.com. Just kidding, this is a bunch of bullcrap, www.inkscape.org. That's better. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is click the download button right here on the front page, and then select the operating system that you're currently using. Mine happens to be Windows. You have two bit options, 32 or 64. You'll just want to select installer, EXE, or click the big button right here. Once it finishes downloading, click the button down here, and then go through the easy to follow installer process. Once you've finished installing Inkscape, go ahead and open up the program. And welcome to my favorite open source graphics editor. This program is absolutely amazing. Now, if you want to figure out what to make the size of your profile picture for YouTube, just go back to your browser and type something in like YouTube profile picture dimensions 2017. That's an easy one. And then click manage your channel icon. This is directly from YouTube and right now, 800 by 800 pixels is the recommended image size. So you'll want to come back to Inkscape, go to File, Document Properties, make sure your units are in PX, and then you just go here and change this to 800 by 800, and then you can either tab to finish it, close out, and there we go. Keep in mind that you can hold down the control button and use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out. This is the easiest way to adjust your image size when you're editing. So I'm not gonna go into full detail on how to make your profile picture. This is completely up to you how you want your profile picture to look, but you have endless possibilities using this free program. This is just to show you that there are some amazing programs out there that are free, but I will give you a short sample here. You can just do something simple like coming over here to the circle tool and just, you know, make, Make a head here, I guess. You can make the eyes, nose, <laughs> and a mouth. If you want to change things like the stroke or anything like that, come over here, pick the select tool, click the eye here, and you can come over to stroke style. You can change the width and put it to one. See, and then it, it changes the width of your stroke. Let's move this guy up a little bit and then select the text tool. My beans. And then right over here, you will see the text and font window. You can scroll through here and see all the fonts that you have available. Just click the font that you want and then click apply. There it is. You can also easily change the size of your text by grabbing the select tool again, clicking and holding on any of these arrows here, and just dragging. If you want to keep your text from looking a little funky like this whenever you're dragging it, just hold down the control button and there you go. Now if you're looking for some amazing fonts for absolutely free, go back to your browser and go to fonts.google.com. All of these links are going to be in the description below by the way. Here you can find some amazing fonts for absolutely free. Zero money required. Just find the font that you're looking for using any of these filters over here to the right and then click the plus button. Come down here, open up this menu that pops up at the bottom and then click the download button. Once the file is downloaded, open up the zip folder, click extract, extract all, Extract again, open up any of these right here that are part of the Open Sans family or whatever font that you chose, and then install. It's that simple. Keep in mind that if you had Inkscape open while you were downloading that font, you will have to close out and reopen it for it to show up in your font list. I downloaded a font called Once in a While, so to apply that font, click your text, come over here to the list, 
select the font apply there it is to save your document come up here click file go down to save or save as save the document as an inkscape svg first and then you can save it as a cairo png or any of these available types but that's it guys i hope this video was very helpful for you if it was go ahead and click that like button if it wasn't helpful at all or you just didn't like the video go ahead and click the dislike button i'm not going to be mad about it if you have any questions go ahead and comment in the comment section below and if you're feeling real good today go ahead and click that sexy subscribe button thanks guys and i'll see you in the next one